and here we are, KBiz 2021. It is a pleasure to be here with everyone. It feels like just last week that we were all down in Las Vegas doing this in person. Uh, I had the privilege last year of doing demonstrations for everyone in our signature kitchen suite booth on this very same 48 inch dual fuel pro range sous vide well my left flex induction on my right powerful gas burners in front very controllable simmer burners in the rear and i have a 18 inch steam equipped oven here and a full size oven look you can see the steam preheating uh, and a full size oven here so I have the pleasure of being virtually patched in this year. I am at our signature kitchen suite, Experience and Design Center in beautiful Napa Valley, where I also am so lucky enough to call my home. So it's really not a bad place to be virtual from. I love being virtual from the Napa Valley. It's really not bad. Um, I'm gonna be with you in and out all throughout KBiz. We're doing more than one, a few different demonstrations. Uh, on the range here, we're gonna show off almost every modality that I have. Now, today, we are cooking cauliflower like a steak. We're serving it with some winter citrus and some tarragon bernays sauce. This recipe, which I have provided every KBiz recipe, every demonstration you see, recipes are available, signaturekitchensuite.com, find them cook them for yourselves, well, find them, then go buy a Signature Kitchen Suite range, then cook the recipes for yourself. They'll come out better. It's just the way it works. Um, we're gonna first steam the cauliflower. So we get to utilize a wonderful steam oven. Then we're going to grill the cauliflower like a steak, but you can't grill it from raw. It needs to be tender first, and then we're gonna get nice grill marks on it. So what I have here is I have this big pan and you're saying, well, how can you heat that pan up with one burner? Flexible induction. My two temperature modes, when the flexible button is depressed, become one and I can control them with one knob. They keep one consistent, same temperature and I don't have to battle with both knobs and try and get the plate the same. So. You can swap this out with a griddle and do your pancakes, bacon, breakfast items, or you can do all your grilling and chilling now inside, which is great for winter months. Or if it's just too ripping hot, you wanna cook inside in the air conditioner. Grilling and chilling indoors now as often as you want with the grill plate on flex induction. So let's get cooking. We need to get the cauliflower steaks in the steam oven. I have cut these thick. I like to use multicolored cauliflower. It makes the final presentation just absolutely stunning. You can use the cheddar, the purple, plain. You can use broccoli romanesco, all of the above. So I have my steam oven. I just barely started preheating it at the beginning of this demonstration. 212 degrees, high steam, just like you're steaming asparagus or broccoli or anything else. Cauliflower is going in to the steam oven. See, we're gonna, look, the power of the Signature Kitchen Suite steam oven. There's not a little man down there making steam, it's, a, it's real. Those go in, middle rack or above, that's the best area to catch the hottest, strongest steam in our 18 inch oven. So, those are gonna sit in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm currently preheating, I just turned it up, preheating my griddle, and I wanna talk about this little pot here real quick because it's a very simple dish. Um, I came up with it when I used to run restaurants as a wonderful way to honor my vegetarian patrons and still get them a delicious grilled steak looking like entree, but out of a vegetable. Um, Serving it with Bernays, that classic steakhouse accompaniment. I love a filet mignon with Bernays sauce and french fries. I could eat that three or four days a week. This is a vegetarian version of. Um, because we have some time restraints here, 
uh, with these uh, virtual live demos. I went ahead and cheated. I made the Bernays sauce ahead of time. Once again, SignatureKitchenSuite.com. My Bernays recipe is available. Use it. It is delicious. Here's the bonus, though, with Signature Kitchen Suite and my back simmer burners. I'm able to pre-make my very delicate, very hard to keep perfect sauce. I set my back simmer burner on the lowest simmer setting, pot of warm water. My sauce is in a bowl covered in plastic. Bulletproof. This is what we call in the restaurant bulletproof holding of hollandaise or Bernays sauce. It won't get too hot to break. It won't get too cold to break. And it will stay at the perfect serving temperature by the time everything's grilled and we're on the plate, hollandaise is holding on the back burner. Now you can do this with fondue, with butter sauce, with chocolate sauce, you name it. Any sauce is gonna hold perfect, perfect consistency here on your back burner. So, once again, due to time restraints, I have cheated. And I put a pan of cauliflower in the oven before, about five, six minutes before that one and it is very close to done. I'm gonna remove that, and we are gonna start grilling. I'm gonna show you how well this flexible grill plate works. And then, we're just gonna build our plate with some winter citrus. These are Cara Cara oranges. These are blood oranges. I don't know, I think these are pretty readily available. I have the privilege once again of living in California where citrus is very abundant and very versatile and exotic, all kinds of different citrus throughout the winter. Uh, I like the Cara Cara orange, it's a cross of an orange and a ruby grapefruit. It shows the delicious pink orange color of a grapefruit, seedless, tastes like an orange. Best of both worlds. Okay, so let's get grilling. I'm going to pull out, once again, careful. Our steam oven is so powerful, let it breathe. Don't open it and go stick in your head right in there. Uh, so, here's the ones I cheated and put in a little ahead of time. You see, the purple one turns kind of blue. Ah, they're hot. This is the Romanesco, the green one stays nice and green. That's, when, when, that's how you know you have a good, fast, powerful steamer is when your greens stay green, and they do. So just like anything else, if you're gonna grill it or sear it, you want it dry so that it gets the brown and black marks. Water makes steam. Steam creates the opposite of browning and black marks. So just take a little paper towel and pat them off. They're not gonna be soaking wet, but they were just in a steamer, okay? Then a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil one side's fine. If you have a nice grill pan that you use all the time, it's seasoned and it should be a little oiled up already and you don't need tons of oil on your cauliflower. Because it's steamed plain, we're gonna wanna salt it now and add a little pepper now while it's in the pan. Okay, then our grill pan is hot, nice and, it is, it's pretty hot. So I have flexed this, once again, I'm controlling with one, I'm controlling both burners as one. I am on uh, seven, seven is our, nine is boost here. So I would call it a medium high setting, we'll see. If it doesn't give me the char that I really, really want, I'll turn it up to nine. But we're just gonna make sure that the oil's rubbed in you should hear a little sizzle. I don't know how close these cameras are. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I can hear it. You want to hear a little sizzle and you'll see a little wisp of smoke from the oil and you'll see a little steam starting to come off the grill pan. And get your beautiful all your colors on there. I wish I had a white one. My white one's in the oven. I don't think it's going to be ready on time. But for now, we'll get two green ones. 
one of the purple and one of the orange. And you'll see when, well, when you tune into every demo here that I'm going to do at KBiz, and when you go pull the recipes from our website, you'll see that if you made all of these dishes, it would be a wonderful meal together. At some point I'm cooking a beautiful lamb dish, which goes great with the cauliflower as a side. I'll be doing a nice warm salad with poached egg. That's a great appetizer for this entire meal. And finishing with some induction cooked bananas foster. So, like I said, go to SignatureSweet.com, pull the recipes. It's a full, beautiful, winter entertaining meal that I have um, set you guys up with. And if you attend my demonstrations every day of Cabe is here, you will get very, very detailed demos on how to cook this food like a pro at home. Once again, you have to go buy the Signature Kitchen Suite range first or it won't come out. Just won't. Um, so they're moving. I don't, they're not sizzling as <clears throat> fast as I'd like to hear them. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn my, turn my flex burner up one. I'm going to take a peek at one of these little guys. Oh, they're actually not bad. They're getting kind of close. Okay. It's good. So we'll get a little more, a little more, a little more. And then let's see, can I hold? You see, they're starting to get a little marks. So they'll start to get a little char on them. Once again, they were in the steam oven, 12 to 15, if they're really thick, even 16, 17 minutes. They're fork tender. They're like steamed cauliflower. So you don't want to overcook them to mush. You just want to get those couple marks, and they'll get that grilled flavor, and they will make your vegetarian guests feel like they're really eating a grilled steak. Uh, while everyone else is eating their grilled New York or their grilled filet mignon. Something about the grill marks and the char, even if you're doing it inside on flex induction, it still has that barbecue grill steak like flavor that you're looking for. Um, let's take a look, see. Voila, see? So you got some nice browning here. Starting to look good, starting to look good. So, while those are doing their thing, I'm gonna show you how to make this one beautiful because this one's really, really beautiful when you plate it up. I have a nice flat platter here. We are going to take my winter citrus that I was bragging about, two beautiful colors. I have um, peeled them with a knife, not by hand, to remove any of the white bitter pith and just get a, a nice orange. We're gonna make nice slices and we're gonna make kind of a checkerboard or mosaic, if you will, of oranges all over the bottom of this plate. Now, if you had some really nice limes, some grapefruit, some mandarins, any other kind of citrus, especially ones that might be different colors, some white grapefruit, go ahead and lay them all out and make yourself a beautiful mosaic of winter citrus all over the bottom of the plate. We'll do one blood orange and two caracaras because I'm a fan of the caracara orange. If this is the first time you're hearing of a caracara orange, A, shame on you, uh, and it, it, go find them, buy one, get one. Like I said, the best of both worlds between the grapefruit and the orange, okay? I can smell, I know you can't smell there, but I can smell that these cauliflower steaks are wanting to be flipped. I have roasted enough cauliflower in my restaurant career that I know that smell. You see those nice little char grill marks? Once again, you don't wanna cook them too much. Just looking for some little marks. Okay, we're gonna leave that one, we put that one on last. Back to our mosaic. We'll build our mosaic here. No rhyme or reason, really. When I used to run my restaurant, I used to tell my cooks, 
they would say, Chef, how should it go on the plate? And I said, like, it fell from the sky out of Mother Nature's hands, and it landed on a plate. I don't like to line things up and shingle everything and make it all perfect, because food is organic, and it is not perfect. It's all different shapes. So we have our mosaic of winter citrus on a big flat platter. Side dish for four. Everyone gets a steak, even though they're different colors. Basically, that's how this, um, I like to write my recipes for four. Perfect entertaining number goes up easy when you need to get them up to eight or 10 or 12 people. If you're only cooking for two, chop it in half or make the recipe and have delicious leftovers. Um, let's take a look at the other side of this guy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so slide this over. I'm going to take advantage of, it's not a modality of the 48 inch range. It's just a, another positive. I love all the space here. Literally get 48 inches of worktop. I use the top of the sous vide well if I'm not using it, even if I am using it. Say I was cooking steak or chicken or salmon in here right now. It's cool to the touch. I can use it as my plate up area and I don't have to scatter all about. A, I don't have to mess up the counter over there, the counter over there. Trust me, I've, you know, if you're going to cook dinner for four on the stove, it's going to get dirty. You might as well just keep getting the stove dirty. Um, so I take advantage. Once again, Swiss Army knife of home ranges, we call this thing. So we are going to carefully ah, remove cauliflower once it has grill marks. You're going to alternate colors right down the middle. I'm going to... I like the yellow one the best, so he's going to be the star of the show in the middle. Love the cheddar, cauliflower. And when you cook them in the steamer, they get that darker, richer yellow color. Some things will dull. The purple will dull a little bit. Reds and yellows get vibrant, vibrant. And so does the green if you have a great steamer. So shingle, shingle, shingle. Just imagine if you had a white one. If we were doing dinner for five, I'd sneak a white slice in there. But this is dinner for four. Once again, perfect, and it's perfectly fork tender, even the inner pour, okay? So, beautiful. If you want to really be OCD like Chef Nick, you can go now with your little tweezer tongs and pull the oranges out so they're a little prettier. You can see them, okay? Then, what is the main herb and delicious herb in Bernays sauce? Tarragon. So. Buy a little bit of extra tarragon. Actually, it's, you, you're going to have to buy a little. You need a pinch for the sauce. You're going to have to buy a bunch or a whole packet if you don't have it in your garden. So I love the anise flavor, very refreshing licorice-like flavor of tarragon. So save a couple leaves and just drop a couple pretty garnish tarragon leaves over the top of your still steaming, grilled like a steak cauliflower. Okay. And then carefully, because this has been sitting on a little simmer burner, it's gonna be hot. Unwrap your Bernays sauce. Always tap your spoon, it's a chef thing. Your Bernays, even with the plastic, it might get a little bit of skin on top. It's okay. Here's the other thing, especially for dinners and for non-breakfast. I, I really like to keep my Bernays and Hollandaise sauce kind of loose and lighter. I don't like it totally gloppy like a mayonnaise. You, you, in my opinion, you should not be able to stand a fork up in your Bernays or Hollandaise sauce. It should be a nice satiny sauce, and that's what I make here. So just with a nice sauce spoon, careful not to spill the water in the double boiler. You're just going to take some of your beautiful Bernays sauce and you're just going to drizzle it over and around the hollandaise. And if I were you, because you're going to make Bernays, 
as well as I do, if not better. Serve a pitcher of Bernays on the side for your guests. They will love it. If they don't, put more on their cauliflower. They'll just drink it or eat it with crusty French bread. Um, and there you have it. Pardon my bare hand on there. We're going to wipe that. And there you have it, my friends. Signature Kitchen Suite, 48-inch Dual Fuel Pro range does it again. This one is actually beautiful, as I promised. Steamed and grilled cauliflower like a steak with winter citrus and Bernays sauce. Once again, recipe is available, SignatureKitchenSuite.com. I will be in and out of the entire KBiz. There's more demos to come, more modalities to see more recipes to learn. In the meantime, stop by our Signature Kitchen Suite virtual booth, make an appointment with one of my many amazing uh, sales reps, check out all our appliances, our entire line of built-ins, and stay tuned, KBiz. I will be back for another recipe very, very soon. Thank you, guys.